Okay, what's going on? I'm back in the Eterna Forest. And once you make it out, this is what the exit looks like. You go through here. And you're here, Route 205. We're pretty much close to Eterna City. Um, you can't go over here because you need to cut trees. So yeah, there's these fishermen here. I'm not going to fight them right now. I'm going to come back and fight them later because I want to heal up. But yeah. Oh, what's this guy going to tell me? Okay, nothing. So as you'll notice, there's like galactic grunts everywhere. That's because the galactic team has a hideout in this town. So pretty much this town is beating the galactic hideout and beating a gym leader and that's about it unfortunately when i was grinding up i discovered that my snorunt is a boy and you need i realize you need a girl snorunt to have a frost lass so i'm not going to be getting a frost lass anytime soon yeah so let's see this is also where you get a bicycle there's no point in going in there because you can't get a bicycle yet but talk to this guy okay Cynthia who's this oh, okay hello Damon I'll be sure to remember that name my name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to the myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using this, it should help you on your way. And she gives you the HM for cut, so you can cut down trees. Because I guess apparently your character was incapable of going around the tree. But, yep. So. Now I have cut. I think this kid gives you a TM, actually. Never mind. Oh, and there's something back here. Yeah, Draco, please. Why is this moving so much? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so there's galactic grunts everywhere, pretty much. There's not much. There's an item over there in the grass, but I don't feel like encountering any Pokemon right now, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna do what I think needs to be done. I think I need to fight the gym later, which is Gardenia. Yeah. There's an item back there. I'll go get it later. What? Oh, okay. I thought she wasn't gonna let me fight it. So this gym is pretty easy, actually. Pretty much all the trainers are hiding in here and you can't fight Gardenia until you beat all the trainers. And um, yeah, you gotta find them. So there's one right here. She sent out a Cherubi. Cherubi. It's level 15. I got an Aerodactyl, by the way. And it knows Aerial Ace. Alright, this gym should be a piece of cake. And I plan on only using Aerodactyl for every Pokemon in here because he's really underleveled. That's so clutch. What? No! Fuck. Now I'm gonna have to walk back, go to the Pokemon Center.
I could be watching Netflix right now. That's gonna poison me, watch. Wait, never mind, I'm already paralyzed. Oh my god. Why? Oh, I can't believe I need to switch out. Well, might as well switch out to my best Pokemon. <laughs> Bidoof. Bidoof is gonna get one-shotted by this Mega Drain because... Okay. Sorry, Bidoof. It had to be done. Monferno could easily destroy everybody in here, but I need to train up everybody else. It is currently 5.30 and I am in my bed doing nothing. Coronavirus is great. We gotta fake the coronavirus. I don't even know how I'm tired. I woke up like at 2 today. Actually, I don't even know what time it was. It was like, I was like 1, it was like 1. Okay, I don't feel like walking back, so I'm just going to use some items. Good job. Okay. And you fight the next one, which I think is down here. Yeah. Look, now there's like awkward silence because I don't know what to say or what to talk about. But nothing has happened today. And life is boring. Pretty much all you're going to encounter in here are Roselias and Boodoos and Cherubis. Those are the only Pokemon that will be used. And the gym leader has a church wig that's, I think, level 17 or level 19. And it's not that hard to deal with. So as long as you have an Infernape, I mean, a Monferno or a Starly, you're pretty much good. I, I want to just listen to some music right now. <laughs> so yeah, she had three voodoos. It's pretty trash. This morning I ate some papas con chorizo. And I threw up actually. I was just eating it and I was like halfway done with my food and I felt this like weird feeling. So I got up and walked to the sink and I was like, Ugh! and I threw up in the sink. And it was pretty, um, it's pretty disgusting, but I don't know what it was. I hope I don't get like food poisoning or something. Okay, that's a one more. I think there's three trainers in here total, so I need to find one more. Ooh, she's a Turtwig. No. Level 17 Turtwig. No. It's gonna do like half damage. Oh, not even half. Come on now. That tackle's gonna do a lot. Oh, critical hit. Good thing I outspeed. 
Why didn't just knock it out? I don't understand. Please don't do a lot. Okay, I did three. What is this? Do I have tackle? I have scary face. Come on, bite. I think she only has one Pokemon, though. Oh my gosh, look, it's Angela. Floroma Lady Angela. Little spoiler, guys, later on in the game, one of my Pokemon's names might be Angela. I don't think there's anybody back here. There's nobody back here. Oh my gosh, she was back there. That's freaking gay. Okay. I did not see her. Giggle, you found me. That's right, I found you. Oh, she has a Roselia. It's level 17. Look at everybody being level 17 in this place. It's not fair. I was level 1 like a couple hours ago. Ooh, that was close. Why? It's, I'm going to get poisoned. Watch. I'm going to get poisoned. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Why? There's not even a hundred percent chance that I get poisoned. Okay, there we go. And then after you beat the fourth trainer, Gardenia should show up in the little platform over there and you can go challenge her. I wonder when he's gonna learn any moves. Okay, so stay tuned. I guess next time we'll defeat Gardenia.